Today's video is all about what personal hygiene items you need for the field. Hi, I'm Kylie, just another Army vet. I make military, medic, and veteran content. Today's video is all about what you should pack in your hygiene kit for the field, coming from a female medic's point of view with over 16 years in the Army and more field time than I care to remember. In this video, I have male-specific advice and female-specific advice. Now, when it comes to packing your kit, it will come down to wants versus needs. Do I need this? It's a necessity. Or do I want this? It's a luxury. It's also going to come down to the weather and climate, how much room you have, and how long you'll be in the field, plus the availability of shower facilities, which will be almost never. Just remember, when it comes to packing for the field, you want to pack light. You don't need the designer Vera Bradley bags. Just go over something nice and simple and durable. And I like to use a D-ring clip so I can clip it on here. And then I can clip this one onto my assault pack. It saves a lot of room being able to carry this in the outside of your assault pack. Whatever you use to deal with your hair, that's what you need to bring. Your prescription medicine, chapstick, definitely. If you're a male, you're going to need to shave in the field. So make sure you bring whatever you need for that. Shaving cream, razor. I would yeah, I would bring deodorant, even though it's not going to make that much of a difference. Sunblock and bug spray. Yes, go ahead and bring those. Um, obviously, if you're out in Fort Drum in the middle of winter, you're probably not going to be dealing with bugs. So this will be situation dependent. If you can pack, if you have some band-aids and Tylenol, then that's great. Sometimes it's hard to find the medics. So this will save you a trip to finding the medics or the aid station. I would say floss and nail clippers and, and eye drops. They're not essential, but I would say go ahead and bring them if you have room. I would bring some sort of lotion, whether it be for your hands or your face or both, just because in the winter months, it's easy to get all dry and chapped. I would go ahead and bring some sort of face wipe. If you're in the field for more than a couple of days and you start using baby wipes on your face, the alcohol in it could start affecting your face negatively. So something like a face wipe would just be a little more gentle on your face. I would go ahead and bring that. Hand sanitizer, yes. Kleenex, yes. If you have the opportunity to go to a field shower, then go ahead and bring some shampoo and some body wash. This is also face wash and a washcloth. You're probably not going to get that chance, though. Just once in a while, you might be at a field site where you might be able to do that. But what you could also do is you could go with your battle buddy in between two vehicles or two trees and put up a poncho and have your battle buddy be on guard. And then you could take your canteen and just pour it over you, and you could take a bird bath with some shampoo and body wash. If you're unable to take a bird bath, or get a shower, then having something like dry shampoo would be ideal. Probably not that big, that a travel size. Baby wipes are important for going to the porta potty and also for just cleaning yourself when there's no shower available, which will be almost all the time. When it comes to toothbrush, I would definitely have some sort of case for the at least the, the head of it at least. And travel size, that will free up a lot of space. If you're only in the field for like a week or something, this would be ideal. I always pack baby powder. So use this like in my shirt even or in my bra area just because things sweat, especially when you're wearing body armor. So this stuff helps quite a bit. I would not bring something this big. I would bring something closer to a travel size, something closer to this size. If you have foot powder, foot powder is an essential thing. Females bring whatever you need for your cycle, whether it be tampons, or pads. Tampons are more sanitary in the field though, and I would not bring a cup. That is too hard to clean in the field. And if you're in the field for let's say 21 days, then I would go ahead and bring 21 pairs of underwear. If you don't have that many pairs of underwear, then you can go ahead and just start using some panty liners. And you can wear one pair of underwear for two days, but you change out the panty liner every day. That would be my best piece of advice if you don't have enough underwear or if you don't have enough room. So you do you. You figure out what works for you. A lot of guys are prone to jock itch and to swamp crotch, especially out in the field in the summer months at Fort Polk or at the National Training Center in the summer months. Listen, my best piece of advice is to go commando. Okay, go commando. 
lets you air out your junk and it helps a lot. And if you are prone to like jock itch, if you find some tenactin or something, then go ahead and bring that. Don't rely on the medics to have this, especially if you're in a line unit. No medic is going to be carrying around something like this. Stuff that you should leave at home and not bring would be things such as contacts. Contacts, you're not allowed to wear them in fields. And if you are in the field, let's say at NTC, they will use CS gas. And if you are wearing contacts with CS gas, they could melt to your eyeballs. So leave those at home. When it comes to body sprays or body mist or anything scented, scented lotion or scented shampoo, sh scented deodorant, just anything scented, just don't bring with you because scents can attract insects. My parting words to you guys are this. When it comes to packing for the field, just use common sense, okay? Every field exercise will be different. Pack what you need. If you're curious about what personal items you should bring to the field, then check out this video right here. Thanks for watching. Please give this video a like. Until next time, signing out.